In this video, I'm going to visualize subtraction of a fraction from a whole number. So let's take, for example, we have 1 minus 1 fourth. So this is 1 whole minus a proper fraction 1 fourth. So let's visualize this. So let's have a whole, uh, whole box. So this serves as the 1, 1 whole. And we want to remove 1 fourth. So to remove one fourth, we are going to slice this one whole into four uh, equal parts. So we have there four uh, equal parts, which is which are composed of smaller squares, and we want to remove one out of these four. So let us remove. So remove means we subtract one fourth. So that's why we remove one out of four. And then what's left after we sub we remove? And we only have three squares out of four, which means three fourths. Another example, we have five minus one thirds. So we have five holes minus one thirds. And so we need to uh, uh, visualize this with five uh, boxes. So this. Each box serves as one hole, so there are five of it. And then we're going to remove one-third. That means one of these holes should be uh, sliced into three parts uh, to illustrate thirds. And we want to remove one-third. That means one out of three. So one out of three slices. So we're going to remove this. And then we're going to count what's left. So there are four holes left plus the 2 out of 3 slices, which is 2 thirds. So that means the, uh, the difference is 4 and 2 thirds. Another example, we have a whole, 3 holes or 3 minus 2 fifths or a proper fraction 2 fifths. So let's illustrate. We have 3 boxes, which serves as 3 holes. And since we want to remove two fifths, so we're going to slice one of these three holes into five. So we have this uh, hole as five slices, and we want to remove two out of these five slices. So let's remove two and determine how much is left after we remove two fifths or we minus two fifths from three holes. So there are two holes, so two. And for the remaining hole, which is sliced into five, we only have three out of five left, or three fifths. So that means the difference of three and two fifths is two and three fifths. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button, and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.